Was there anything particularly challenging for you as you were growing up that um, ended up being uh, really important to you in terms of your growth? I've been very lucky in my life to um, have a supporting family and to have friends and I had a lot of the same problems that most kids do but um, I didn't have to suffer any sort of big hardship or something um, as a as a young kid and I feel very lucky about that yeah so I don't know nothing comes to mind I guess and when you was a kid figuring things out what was some of the some of the thoughts that were going in your head in terms of potential careers for you as you were growing up oh um, like what did I want to be when I grew up yeah oh well, like most kids my age, I wanted to be Doug Gilmore. Um, he's a hockey player. <laughs> you looked at me then, you knew I didn't no, know, I know right? you didn't know. I know you're not going to know that one. But. I was thinking, isn't that the serial killer? That's Gary, <laughs> that's Gary Gilmore, right? Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I wanted to be a hockey player, I guess, or um, I wanted to be retired. <laughs> like, school was hard enough. Um, but uh, I loved... I always loved playing games. I was always fascinated by that. Um, I thought maybe I would get into something in finance that's sort of the uh, the more serious answer, I guess. If you know, I, did, I figured out pretty early on the hockey, the professional hockey career wasn't going to work out. Um, so I, I was sort of interested in markets and finance and whatnot. And uh, if poker didn't come along, maybe that's where I would have ended up. Did you did you have any mentors back then? I know I didn't. My mentors didn't come so much later in life. But did did you have anybody who was like a guiding light when you was growing up that you looked up to? Sure, my parents. Um, my parents are both uh, brilliant, hardworking people, and I looked up to them from an early age. And when it comes to values and uh, the things that guide you in life, what are some of the things that really bugs you about people? that shows a, a direct contrast to the values that are true to you? Arrogance, I guess, or um, entitlement. Um, people who think they just should get everything or, or think they deserve to win every hand of poker or whatever, <laughs> you know, that's the sort of thing that bugs me in poker, I guess, is if somebody just can't believe that they lost uh, or can't believe that they got bad beat or something. Like what bothers me in poker is if I think I've maybe made a stupid decision. And um, some people just think that everything should go their way all the time. As you've gone through life and you've gone through various stages of the poker industry, NL2, 4, 6, until you get to the top of the game, where does the arrogance and entitlement peak and trough? Where, where have you seen it at its worst? Because there's part of my mind saying to myself, well, surely that would be when you get to the absolute top, which is just a projection of mind, which is, holds no truth to it, of course, but I'm interested in your point of view. I, yeah, I guess it's probably just different at, at different people. I'm not sure that it's something everyone experiences. That's not what I'm saying. Mm. I, I think that um, it's just a trait that I see happen in certain people that I don't really respect. Because, and that's because you're the complete opposite of that? You know what, it, it usually bothers me if somebody, say, uh, wins the main event of the World Series of Poker, and then every tournament stop that I play with them for the next year, I have to hear about how lucky they are. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like, I'm going, through, I'm going through a bad beat. So, like, it's like Justin Bottom was not allowed to tell us he's on a downswing. <laughs> 